AWS certifications are some of the most sought after in-demand certifications in the marketplace today. However, I've gotten some feedback recently that some feel as though the AWS certifications are out of their league because they don't have technical experience. Well, I've got some great news for you because in today's discussion, I'm gonna tell you about the absolute easiest AWS certification you can get started with. And if you don't have any technical experience, not to worry, because this certification doesn't require any technical experience at all. That's right. You can get started with this certification with no tech experience from zero to 60 and get through it, pass it, and finally walk around with your head held up high and your chest poked out so you can brag and say you're officially AWS certified. Not only will I tell you which AWS certification this is, but I'm also gonna give you a little bit of an overview of the certification. I'm gonna tell you what the certification requires for you to pass. What is the format of it? Uh, how many minutes does it take to complete it? How much it cost? What you're gonna be tested on? And I really need you to stick around too, because at the end, I'm gonna show you and talk about where you can go to take the free training to get you prepared for the certification so you have a better chance of passing. Now, without further delay, let's jump right in. The easiest AWS certification you can possibly get is the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. The AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner is a fundamental AWS certification that requires no technical skills. This certification curriculum offers a foundational understanding of AWS concepts, services, and terminology. Now, this is a great starting point for individuals in non-technical roles and with no prior IT or cloud experience, or for individuals that are in on-premises data centers with no prior cloud knowledge, looking to gain some basic fluency in AWS concepts. And one of my favorite parts about this certification is it is designed to give you confidence to tackle future AWS certifications. So let's talk about who should take this exam. The certification is designed from the ground up for those with a non-IT background exploring a career in AWS Cloud. Some of the roles that you may have or may be coming from could be sales, marketing, business analyst roles uh, to allow you to communicate more effectively with stakeholders and customers about AWS Cloud. If you're coming from an on-premises environment, like I mentioned earlier, but you're new to AWS Cloud and you need a primer, this is the perfect certification for you. So what will you learn? You're gonna learn and be able to prepare for and attain this certification by gaining a basic understanding of IT services and their uses on AWS Cloud. It also focuses on knowledge of core AWS services and use cases, such as billing and pricing models, security concepts, and how the cloud impacts businesses. The level of the exam is foundational, as I mentioned earlier. The length of the exam is 90 minutes, and the current cost of the exam is 100 US dollars. Now, the format of this exam is going to be 65 questions, and they're gonna be either multiple choice or multiple response. Now, what I'd like to do in the time we have left is jump into the exam guide real quick. Now, I'm not gonna go over the exam guide word for word. I'm just gonna take some time to point out some areas that you should focus on in preparation for this exam. And remember, I need you to hang in there because after I discuss the exam blueprint, I'm gonna point you in the direction to free training that's gonna prepare you for this, and you don't wanna miss that. So just like the exam guide mentions, the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam is intended for individuals who can effectively demonstrate an overall knowledge of AWS Cloud, independent of a specific job role. This exam is gonna evaluate your ability to explain the value of AWS Cloud, understand and explain the AWS shared responsibility model, understand security best practices, understand AWS cloud cost, e economics, and billing practices. Describe and position the core AWS services, including compute, network, databases, and storage, as well as identify AWS services for common use cases. Now, AWS does provide a target candidate description in the exam guide, and this is what they say. The target candidate should have six months or equivalent of active engagement with AWS Cloud, with exposure to AWS Cloud design 
implementation, or operations. Candidates will demonstrate an understanding of well-designed AWS cloud solutions. Now, you may be saying to yourself, wait a minute, I haven't had zero exposure to AWS, and this target candidate description says I need around six months. Listen, the training I'm going to show you that's free here in, in, in a second, talk about, uh, is going to help you bridge the gap and give you what you need to be able to uh, increase your chances of passing the certification exam. Now, just as it's important to talk about the things that are going to be on this exam, it's also important to highlight what is not going to be on this exam because I don't want you just working hard and studying hard for a whole bunch of stuff that you're not even going to be tested on. I want you to direct your energy to the things that will be on the exam. Now, having said that, these are the things that are not going to be on the exam. Coding. Good news is you don't need to know anything about coding to pass this exam. Uh, designing cloud architecture. That's not going to be the focus of this exam. That's more of a focus of the AWS Certified Solution Architect uh, exams. Troubleshooting. Not going to need to troubleshoot anything. Implementation. You're not going to need to go into any details about implementing a cloud architecture. Migrating to the cloud. Not going to be tested outside of the scope of this exam. Load and performance testing. Not on this exam. And lastly, Business applications such as uh, Amazon Alexa, Amazon Chime, and Amazon Workmail are completely outside of the scope of this exam. To reiterate, there are two types of questions on the exam. Multiple choice, which means that particular question has one correct response, and three incorrect responses, which are known as distractors. And then there's multiple response questions. These questions will have two or more correct answers out of five or more responses. Now I mentioned that there's going to be 65 questions on the exam, but I do want to point out to your attention, there are 15 unscored questions that do not affect your score. So these are questions where AWS collects information about candidate performance on those unscored questions to evaluate those questions for future use as scored questions. Now, here's the thing. Even though there are 15 unscored questions on the exam, you are not going to have any idea which ones they are. So just, you know, do your best on these and know that uh, if you do happen to miss one that happens to be unscored, it's not going to count against you. And in terms of the exam results, the maximum score in terms of points you can get on this exam is 1,000 and the minimum passing score is 700. So that's not too bad. Again, the level of effort that you're going to have to apply to pass the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner is going to be a lot less relative to the other AWS certifications that are available in the AWS Learning Path. Now, thanks for hanging in there with me. I'm going to quickly go over the four domains you're going to be tested on. I'm not going to deep dive in those domains, but I'm just going to highlight those so you know what you're up against and you know the percentage of that particular domain that's going to be on the test. Now, the heavy lifting will be on you to do the training that I'm going to show you here in a second. So let's go over these domains. Domain one, you need to know about cloud concepts. That's worth 26% of the exam. Domain two is security and compliance. That's worth 25% of the exam. Now domain three is technology. That's worth a whopping 33%. That's one third of the total exam will be, uh, regarding AWS technologies. And then the fourth is billing and pricing, which only makes up 16%. Now, that's not something you just wanna uh, shrug off. 16% is 16%, so you wanna make sure you get those points as well. Now, onto this free training I was telling you about. The free training for the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner is called the AWS Cloud Essentials Learning Plan. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put uh, a link to this in the description so you can make sure you can get it from there. The AWS Cloud Essentials Learning Plan offers a suggested set of digital courses that are designed to give beginners a clear path to learn. This learning path takes out the guesswork so you don't have to wonder, where do I start? Where do you begin? The learning path is designed to give you everything you need to go from start to finish to get you ready for this exam. Now, after you complete this learning plan, You'll have a better understanding of AWS Cloud benefits, the core services, the pricing, and security of AWS. You'll also have gained foundational skills to help you enter careers in the cloud, IT, 
or development. Now, if you decided to stick around, I told you I was gonna show you one free training. Well, guess what? I have another one, and it's called the AWS Cloud Quest for Cloud Practitioner. Now, that learning plan I mentioned earlier, this is kind of a traditional computer-based tutorial type training, so it has a mixture of, uh, you know, very uh, media-rich graphics as well as videos that you can go through in a self-paced fashion. But AWS has also developed something called the AWS Cloud Quest. In this particular case, I want you to do the AWS Cloud Quest for Cloud Practitioner, which aligns to the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Certification uh, Curriculum. Now, AWS Cloud Quest is the first and only role-playing game to help you build in-demand AWS cloud skills. So in this uh, game, uh, an adventure awaits you as you zap drones, befriend pets, and solve puzzles in a virtual city. You get to collect gems and earn points as you progress building real solutions inside of a live AWS environment. And this will help you prepare for the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam with one of the most engaging cloud trainings that's around. So you'll not only have one training that's free, but two, with the second one being a game where you learn. And that's it. I hope you found this information very helpful. And I wish you the best luck in the future, passing your AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam and obtaining future AWS certifications. Take care and I'll see you around.